Today we're making a Korean noodle dish called jajamyeon. And we've got the pan nice and hot. We're going to start off, this is uh, vegan and oil free. Um, so we're going to start off cooking vegetables. There's radish. These potatoes are already cooked, um, so they'll go in a little bit later. Right now I'll put radish and onion. About equal amounts of the four vegetables is what I like to use. Onion, radish, zucchini, and potato. And this will just get cooked with a little bit of water. I've just added the zucchini as well after the, uh, the onions and the radishes are cooked slightly. So the noodles are going in now, little by little. And this water will foam up and boil over very easily, so you can combat that by adding cold water to the boiling water uh, or just turn the heat down on it enough so that it won't boil over. Now it's about time to put the rest of the ingredients in. I've got the white part of two green onions that's going in and the potatoes that are already cooked are going in as well. I'm just going to stir it up and then we'll add the sauce. You can see the noodles starting to boil over. So you add a little cold water to it and it brings the boil right down. The sauce for the black beans, this is from the Korean grocery, black bean paste. There are several different types available. <clears throat> um, and it's actually not beans uh, like the black beans that you would make a pot of beans with. These are soybeans that are fermented. So you put about two tablespoons of black bean paste. And I'm going to add a little bit of water to that and put the lid back on. Now for the finishing touch, it's a, a pretty nice gravy right now. But um, to make it really nice and thick, I've got about a tablespoon of potato starch that is mixed with water. I have about a teaspoon of sugar that's mixed in as well. And the last bit is just a touch of uh, smoked sesame oil for flavoring. And it will thicken up quite quickly after the potato starch goes in. So you can, you can see the gravy. It's nice and thick, has a beautiful color, and this is done. Let's look at the final product. Here's the final product. You can make the serving as large or small as you want, and you just mix it up. Excellent. So this sauce uh, recipe makes quite a bit. Um, so all I've got to do is put that in a plastic container in the refrigerator and it will keep for several days so it's good on, on additional noodles or it's good on rice or a number of other things. Hope this is helpful. Enjoy.